Rosie Bird and welcome back to Kirby Star Allies. And today I'm gonna to be checking out yet another brand new character added through the most recent DLC in Guest Star Star Allies Go. So that can continue with uh, uh, Adeline here, but I think we've already done that. So we're just gonna move on to the next character, which is going to be Dark Meta Knight from The Shadows. This guy, of course, is from uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, my favorite Kirby game, the first Kirby game I ever played. So I am super excited to check him out and see what's really different between him and normal Meta Knight. Maybe not too much, we'll find out together. But uh, with that being said, let's first off take a look at his little description. Is that the uninvited knight from Kirby and the Amazing Mirror? Guess he had a fight with the Meta Knight or with Meta Knight. The mirror world must cast a long shadow across the galaxy. At least he's here as a friend. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so taking a quick look, I'll probably take you know a deeper look on some of his moves soon. But to start things out, it looks like he has you know overhead slash, dark beam, triple slash. Uh, okay, dark multi thrust. All right, so if I just you know do that and I have full health, I can actually do like a cool little hit. And if we did this, you can see there's like a whole bunch of different moves we could do if we just keep pressing B. So that's pretty awesome. It already feels a little bit more different from Meta Knight. He has like more expansive moves in a way. I mean, visually, of course, he's very similar. Um, he just is darker. So very cool. But yeah, we also have to make sure we're getting friends. It is uh, Kirby Star Allies. So let's make sure that we toss something out like you. And there you go. We'll need the help of allies to get through this. Of course, we did this last episode as Adeline. This episode, of course, we're doing it with Dark Meta Knight. In the next episode, hopefully, we'll do it as, uh, what's his name? I can't get a Waddle Dee. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll get it as DeRoach, hopefully. Is there gonna be a secret round here? No, okay. So let's get this way. Because of course we're looking for upgrades, we're looking for puzzle pieces. I actually finished a painting last episode, which is super cool. I don't like to continue doing that. What do we got in here? Yeah, look at that puzzle piece. This actually, oh, you know what this is? I thought it was oddly familiar. This is like the first like level design in Amazing Mirror. Oh, I love that. I should have gotten you instead of beating you up. But yeah, it's sort of mimicking that level design you see from Amazing Mirror, which is super cool. You can add these rocks, which I've literally seen nowhere else in the game. Weird. Oh man, I really like that little touch. That's very cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw fire at you. You're now my friend, Burning Leo. And then I can't become your friend, but that's okay. Because I can at least get this stuff, get another picture piece. That is so cool. I wonder if we could have gone back then and get the other person, or the other direction. I don't think that there was gonna be anything in extra, because that's sort of the idea with The Amazing Mirror is it's an open-ended game. You could go back through the game and take different paths and unlock different things. So that's sort of the whole idea. So yeah, very interesting. Okay, let's get rid of these two. I mean, I should, probably shouldn't be worrying so much about enemies. And this is where you'd launch off. Oh my gosh, and you'd land on the star and that would bring you to a new adventure, you know? Or at least a new area that you can explore. And usually this is where the big ghost mansion would be. It's not really a ghost mansion, but it was like a haunted kind of mansion kind of thing. And that was always pretty cool. Of course, instead here we have like a different landscape that's you know actually in the game itself. But still, I, I love that idea, it's super cool. So, ah, oh hey, treasure chest. Get ourselves some extra health, which will be great for our teammates that got a little bit of damage. Now we can head this way. But yeah, I love that, that's such a nice touch. A good start to today's episode. Oh, here we go, invincibility. Invincible Meta Knight, as, as if he wasn't overpowered enough. And he's, you know, evil dark Meta Knight. There we go, everybody wants kisses. Dark Meta Knight does not give kisses. <laughs> Sometimes he does, I suppose. Uh, whoa, okay, hold on, I'm just trying to get up here. So this is the uh, extra area, this is where I wanna go. But this is also like similar to the level designs in the mansion. Let's head down this way, and then yeah, let's try to get this guy, there we go, good stuff. So this right here has some extra health for us. We've only had two health upgrades so far, so I'm interested to see what this is. Maybe just a couple of, uh... oh, it's damage upgrade, nice, okay. That'll make things easier for handling whatever boss we may run into. But yeah, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror is such a fun Kirby game, because it just has like so much different stuff going on with it in a very interesting way. Uh, it, it, Cause there's like no really other Kirby game that's exactly like it. That was the first Kirby game I ever played, also like the first Game Boy game I ever played. So lots of cool stuff going on with that. So we got another uh, picture piece there, heading down this way. Got the evil Mask of Doom, get him out of there. It would be cool to see Dark Kirby as well from uh, Amazing Me. I don't know if they'd actually do that or not. I'm just gonna ignore that guy. 
Keep walking past him. Press the big button. What do we get? Yeah, extra damage again. I was e expecting a star rod there, a friend rod. But hey, extra damage is just as good. So they're sort of giving us the extra pieces too. It would be interesting though, if they did add Dark Kirby, would they uh, give him different levels or would it be the same? I'm not really sure. But anyways, it looks like we're suiting up the fight. You know who? Wispy Woods, which uh, Star Allies, I'm not Star Allies, but uh, The Amazing Mirror is one of the few Kirby games that doesn't have Wispy Woods as the first boss. It has like some kind of wall with a face, which is practically the same boss fight, but uh, a little bit different. Anyways, we have the extra damage. And right now, just like spamming the B button does some good stuff, so I don't mind doing that for a little bit. And then maybe after this level, we'll explore uh, Meta Knight's or Dark Meta Knight's moveset a little bit more. All right for now, let's just keep beating him up. Keep throwing stuff out of come on. We almost got him. Yeah! <laughs> All right, we did good, guys, we did good. So there is that done. And that means we're done with the first checkpoint. Four, or just under four minutes. That's a better time than I think uh, last episode, which is nice. The faster, the better, really. <laughs> I haven't gotten any speed upgrade, so. Ooh, oh, and this is very similar. As well, you have these little stop rooms where you can have like different abilities to choose from, and then you can head back out into the world. And there's more than one way to go because it's you know open-ended, just like I said the uh, original game was. Very cool. Hmm. So I don't really know which way is the best way to go because I don't remember the game to a T. So we're just gonna keep going left for now because it's not going to the right, which is usually what you expect. Oh, I need a character with wind powers? What if I just, huh? I don't think I've seen this propeller thing before. I mean, I can make a fire sword. Yeah, who's gonna be able to do this? This is weird. Um. I swear I've never seen this fan before. Like maybe the bird friend up here, or maybe the person with sweep abilities would have been fine. Um, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and put you over Burning and Leo. And then if you could just combo up with me and see if we can't make, there we go. The wind power. That might be what I'm looking for. So this might be a brand new thing added to the game just through a Dark Meta Knight's level thing. That'd be pretty cool. Um, there we go, it works. I swear I've not seen that anywhere else in the game. There we go, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, I gotta go this way. Yeah, this is where you would normally like team up with other Kirby's, because that's something you could do. Whoa, here's that speed upgrade, and then some. It's gonna be level three for everything and a level four speed, holy cow. But this is where you would team up with other Kirby's, because that was sort of a big thing in the game, is that you could call in different Kirby's uh, with your cell phone, because <laughs> that was hip and trendy. Uh, and it would call in different color Kirby's and for those really big blocks you couldn't move by yourself, you could have those other Kirby's help you out. Whoa, get out of here. Okay, so nothing going on over that way. We're just gonna head out of here and try going the other direction. Like there was other stuff, but I couldn't find a way to reach it, so I feel like I did fine with what I got. So we'll head to the right and see what else we can find. Hopefully something good, I would imagine. Oh, okay, yeah, this is like a totally different area. So I might have missed out on a couple things, or maybe that was like a part of an area from before that I missed, I don't really know. But all I do know is that we got some extra damage, level four. I mean, once again, once we complete this area, it'll reset our damage and everything else, really. Oh, I can get this, nice. This is really laggy, too, this whole area. Oh, there's a button this way. Press it, boom, we get, oh, we get a friend rod. Who do we wanna get? I wanna be specific with it. It'd be cool to get Meta Knight. Yep, there we go. Cool, so we're gonna go ahead and put Meta Knight over somebody. Wait, did I turn into Meta Knight? No, okay, for a second I thought I did, that would be bad. Put him over Blade Knight. We <laughs> All right, oh, pretty cool. So we got Dark Meta Knight and Meta Knight. Pretty fun combo. Awesome. See, so we're making our way through this castle. What else can we find? Yep, King Diddy now. So we didn't get maxed out on everything yet, but maybe we could if we kept going. We'll have to wait and see. First, let's get rid of these guys. I like the wind ability. I feel like that's fun. So after we beat King Diddy, then maybe I'll check out the extra moves. I should probably check it before, actually, so that I know what I'm doing with it. Um, so we got Dark Triple Slash, and then B after Dark Triple Slash from Dark Multi Thrust, thrust Edge Smash. We've already been doing that. Um, and this is all while facing right. Dash plus B is dark drill upper edge. Dark drill up B is dark spiral. Dark spiral down B is, B is meteor edge. So what that means, I think, is if I were to, well first of all, let's grab this. 
Um, and that gets a little bit of everything. We just need a little bit more health, which I don't know if we're gonna get. So if I were to... Yeah, look at that, that's crazy. Um, and then after that, press and hold B and then release up. Dark Caliber. So like, first, if we were to charge, we can do that. But if we were to... Whoa, okay, very nice. Um, and then there's triple, okay, yeah. Oh, well, I'm actually getting a little confused here. Dash and then B in midair, dark cross cut, B after dark cross cut, triple thrust. So if I were to, yeah, I guess that's the triple. Very weird, we'll, we'll try to learn more of it soon, but for now that's that's quite a lot. So we should be able to charge at him and hurt him pretty good. I like it. Okay, excuse me sirs, I got places to be. Yeah, I gotta deal with this dude. So let's get this. Continue, I didn't want to pause the game. And then we could, oh, okay, that sort of worked, but not entirely. So there's that phase down, let's keep beating him up though. As long as we have, as much time as we have, let's just keep beating him up. Skip this, and then, oh, oh, that's not gonna hit you too much. Ow, that hurt me a lot more. Ooh. I liked separating the Dark Meta Knights like that, that's really cool. And of course, we're moving around a lot more nimbly, I think just because of the, uh, the, uh, the special move we have, you know, we have the wind. There we go, we got him before his like first phase under here, usually it breaks the floor and we fall down a couple times. Not even once this time. Can we get him as a friend? That'd be great. No, I was trying to, wouldn't let me. Oh, wow, well, I tried. All right, six minutes and 56 seconds really isn't too bad. So yeah, we get 13 puzzle pieces, which I'll just dump in wherever they need to be. Cool. <laughs> so let's keep moving forward and see what else we can do. We gotta, we gotta do our next level. I hope that turns out pretty well. All right, are we ready? So this might even be another new level design. I want that. Actually, no. This seems to be the same as last episode. So this is where things get the same to be the same again, which is a little bit of a shame. But I'm just gonna make my way through everything as fast as I physically can until we run into new stuff. Ow, dude. That's just rude. Got extra speed. There we go. That'll help a lot. With just running through the whole thing. Yeah, it'll be much better. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Keep running, whoa! Hold on, hold on, yeah, okay. Gotta be careful. Extra health, that's sort of kind of helpful. All right. But yeah, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on uh, Dark Meta Knight and, of course, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Do you think it's a good game? I haven't played it before. All that kind of stuff, whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta be careful. So I wanna go ahead and get this. That's perfect. Get that milk. Even though I didn't really need it. Yeah, this whole level design is the same as last episode, so I guess it's just something new they added with the DLC, but that every character does. Or maybe at least all the DLC, new DLC characters has. All right, there's health level two. What else do we got going on? I'm just gonna keep flying, because it's sort of faster. Oh, I gotta get into this stuff. That's just a heart. Oh, hold on. Yeah, this is this is a problem. I need to get over there. Oh, extra, yeah, there we go. So it's gonna be an extra level for everything which means level two speed. Very good. Get rid of you, thank you. All right, so that's just as difficult as it was last time. It was a little scary. All right, run down this way, and then whoop. Okay, oh yeah, I remember this is the little wheel. So we can just like rush past everybody and get into the wheel. And then I didn't want to skip it, I wanted to skip the cutscene, and I want to pause. I do want to skip, there we go, yay! <laughs> All right, we're very familiar with all this. I mean, there's not really too much more I can say about it. I mean, I might start like cutting stuff out in these episodes just because like, it's really just me sitting here playing the same level you guys have seen in the past. So I don't really want to do that too much. I want to showcase, of course, more of Dark Meta Knight's skills. So I might wait until like we run into a couple boss fights and like talk more then. I'm not really sure. But uh, for now, we're just beating stuff up. And do we get extra stuff? Oh, we do. Okay, so there's an extra puzzle piece, and then there's some extra speed. Very cool. All right, so it looks like we're about to deal with the boss fight. I'm pretty sure it's Meta Knight, so it's gonna be Dark Meta Knight and Meta Knight versus Meta Knight. A little bit of a, uh, a thing going on there now, isn't it? And we should be able to deal with him just fine. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna include the boss fights. We'll just go for that, and beyond that, I'm just gonna work trying to, to getting to the next thing as fast as possible. To be honest with you, I've done this so many times, I really don't know what I would talk about that would actually be interesting. But uh, yeah, I find that this move right here, what I'm doing with the uh, 
down B when I'm in the air is actually a lot of fun, and it does some good damage. So at least the smaller units, especially those segments where you're stuck in a room and they're just spawning things in, usually gets rid of them pretty quickly in a pretty reliable way. I'm not the best at his moves, but I feel like I'm overall figuring it out, and we got rid of him. Yeah. And if you just do down B when you're on the floor, he does this. So there we go. <laughs> I could have gotten a second Meta Knight, but maybe that's a little too much. Whoa! Hey, there's his mask broken. Doesn't that normally happen? I can't remember. Anyways. <laughs> We got that one cleared in seven minutes and 27 seconds, and we got a good couple of uh, picture pieces, 13 in total, so we'll add all that to here. This looks like a Kirby Planet Robobot picture, and one more for this one. So with that being said, I'm gonna keep moving forward till we run into our next boss fight. Looks like we're going against somebody, I think it's going to be, yep, Pon and Con, which shouldn't be too bad, I hope. I mean, we only have one damage and one health. I mean, one speed, I don't even have any health upgrades right now. That could be a problem, we'll have to end up seeing. There we go, we get rid of, uh, Pond there, that's very nice. Okay, got you a little bit. Come on, just keep going, just keep beating him up any way I can. This up attack is actually really quick. Like, it's not the most effective thing of all time. I gotta run, I gotta run, hold on, hold on. Ready? Oh, okay, I charged right through him. I didn't take any damage because of that, how awesome. Wait, hold on just a second, sir. What do you think you're doing? Okay, come back here, or not. There we go. I damaged him a little bit. One more, there we go, it was perfect. So amazing stuff, we beat up Pawn and Khan. And I just gotta keep moving then. The raccoon and the fox, they've been taken down. All right, we got another boss fight coming up. This is gonna be one of the sisters, the ice one that I'm forgetting her name right now. Francisca? Francisca, okay, so let's go ahead and get her. She shouldn't be too bad. This is the easier version of this boss, so ow, and I say that and I instantly get hit. But once we just get under her a little bit, we should be able to just do fine, just like hitting up over and over again. Unfortunately, is usually the best move. I mean, that's sort of pretty common. Ooh, well actually, I don't think I've done that before. Was that me or was that the other Meta Knight? Did all the swords going up? I don't know. Um, maybe it was that? Oh yeah, that's the, well that's the swoop move. But right now, this is just like the fastest, most effective thing, because you can just hit it over and over again while everybody else is just staring at me funny. Come on, there you go. <laughs> just like, that's the way to destroy the boss, is just do that over and over again. Why can't you be my friend? Oh, and we're just gonna, I totally forgot we're already against Flamberge now. So, let's go ahead and do that. I, I forgot that it's like a little bit of a boss rush here. Ow, you know what? Yeah, there we go, that should be good. And then we can, ow, hold on. Mm, I went right past you. How awkward. Where are you going now? You're going this way. Cause you should be slamming down with your sword, which should miss me. Yep, it does. You did get our Meta Knight friend. Ow, that got me. But my friends took you out. Isn't that what they're for? You can't be my friend either. <laughs> All right, so there's that checkpoint done. Five minutes, not too bad. Okay, so we're actually running into a little bit of a different level design with this one. So I figured I'd go ahead and show it off. We're running, we start running to the left, which is odd, and we get two puzzle pieces, so might as well grab those, but I've definitely never seen that before. So I figured I'd join you guys along to find out what's going on with this level, this area. There's an enemy waiting behind that block. I don't know which way I'm trying to go here, but that's typical amazing mirror stuff. You never know until it's too late. So there's something to the right here, but we can't quite reach it, so let me just go this way instead. Ooh, there's a puzzle piece. And there's that, there's also evil masks waiting for me. This really is a bit of a maze. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 oh, come on, that's... Ooh, you stinker. Oh, wow, we messed up on something there. I don't think it's worth restarting everything for. Can I get this or no? Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, here's a little secret. So this area is like totally full of them. If I had health, I could have maybe sliced that uh, monkey a little bit, or full health, I, I had health, but. Full health is what I was looking for. Some extra damage at level two, not bad. Hopefully, if it, not anything else, it was just some puzzle pieces, I don't have to worry about it too much, you know? Because puzzle pieces are important, but they're not gonna make playing through this any more difficult, which is, you know, the most important thing. But yeah, there's like little rooms everywhere. Hmm. Oh, this is like quite the maze. It's sort of scary. But yeah, here's that one treasure chest that was on the side. Get some extra health. Not bad. Make a way back this way. And that's probably our way out. So I actually might want to circle back if I want to find everything. Because there was definitely another room somewhere. If I went into the one room, you could see another room with another treasure, che treasure chest. So I might go uh, back this way. And I think I've already broke this stuff unless this is, this is a different area that looks similar. But then like I go back this way and you can't go up anymore. So like maybe I'm totally wrong. It's just, it's super hard to tell. 
All right, well, I did what I could. I have no idea how to get to that side. Well, actually, no, that's the side we pop out on. See, I'm a little clueless on some of the ways we get around. <gasps> oh, but you're back. Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 come on. That is so difficult. I can't do it without full health, I don't think. So let me just try again now. <laughs> I gotta keep trying. If I can keep getting the opportunity, I might as well try to seize it, right? So, go back through like that. Maybe if I took one of you guys as a friend, I don't know. I mean, I just don't know if there's like a better move I could be using, because if, if I do that, that doesn't really help too much. If I had full health, though. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, come on, I don't get it. There we go, I just had the charge across. Whoa, okay, hold on, be careful. Get up there, what is it gonna be then? The mystery is solved, it's extra speed, which I love to get in two puzzle pieces. That was totally worth it. Very good, so I just have to charge across, which is easier said than done. Well, that seems to be everything I can do in this area. So we're heading out of here, going onto the other side, getting through the door. Oh boy, lots of stuff. I, I don't know what kind of secrets I could have possibly missed, but I've been looking around, I don't see anything else. So, we're just charging through and finishing up with this little section. Crazy mazes everywhere, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess that was it. But, like, there was other stuff you could find, but I didn't like quite find it. It's weird. But I'm doing all I can for now. Just gonna leave it be. We experienced that earlier too. Ooh, what's down this way? Anything? No, just doom. Just doom. Okay, I guess it was for these little cannons. That makes sense. Okay, go quick. Uh, maybe shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Am I supposed to go down this way? There is stuff down this way. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this. Okay, cool. So, what is this little mystery? Oh, I can't wait to find out. It's this, okay, puzzle piece right here. Right, oh no, not quite. We actually get extra speed and extra health, which is just as good, so thank you, thank you. And we're gonna go through the door, head out, out back the other way. Things will be great. Whoop, got it. Okay, so, not too bad. What's gonna be now? I'm like waiting for this to return to back how it normally is. It looks like there is some downward wind, so I don't want to take this area until I'm like I know for a fact it has everything I need. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, that's not gonna explode unless I have fire. Oh. We gotta go back then. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I know exactly what to do. We gotta go all the way back and get wherever that dude was. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, it was right here. And we should be able to get this. I just need to throw a little uh, friendship part at him, turn him into our friend, and then that'll be good. So go ahead and do that. And we're gonna put you over, sure, let's put you over Waddle Do. That should be fine. And we're gonna combo up with you in a moment. That way it sets it on fire, falls down, explodes, and we get something awesome out of it too. As far as I understand, that's how it's supposed to work. What I like is that, I don't know if it's like this for Meta Knight, but for Dark Meta Knight, he actually damages things just by flying at it, which is really nice for storming through the levels when you have the, a lot of speed build up. So like, there's no way to get up here or do anything, but if I were to, oh wait, I forgot to combo it up. Combo, there we go, fire sword. Ready, hiya. So that should explode as well. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so what is this gonna be? Oh my, well, I hope that was a good idea because I can't get back up at this rate. Oh. Maybe I can, maybe I can, maybe I can, maybe I can. Ah! <laughs> oh, come on, it's almost working. Yeah, it worked. I made my way back up. But I don't see any way to get back over this way. So like, there was definitely some stuff up here. I go back this way, or maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'm just totally wrong about that. Okay, whatever, slam down. Cool. Not bad, we figured it out. <laughs> so let us uh keep storming through and see what else we can find. Uh, this is definitely still new. Uh, what is that about? Oh, okay, that was nothing. And I took damage, so I can't uh, do my little sword shot thing. Get rid of this guy. Get, oh, this, yeah, that's what I was looking for. One of these things was gonna have a good mystery to it. We have all these doors everywhere. This is just like, you sort of have to go with the flow. Like, try to get everything, but <laughs> only so much you can do. But that's gonna get us level four for everything. I was like two or three puzzle pieces there as well, so. Just amazing stuff so far. We're getting a lot. It just isn't always easy. Okay, so this might be where it goes back to being normal with the train. I think so. So we're just gonna leave this be, and I will be right back. Well, we'll only, we'll only stick with it just for a second. Also, Dark Meta Knight, somebody so serious being a little train is hilarious. But this is looking a lot like the normal train for this area. I would say so. Maybe, hold on, I don't know. Uh, We'll just go through it, <laughs> we'll see. Actually, I don't know, hard to say. 
mean, it's hard to make these look all that much different. We'll just keep charging through, maybe we can get a cool couple collectibles or something. We're going quick, building up speed, because we're running upside down. <laughs> At least we were running downwards, and then we started running upside down. And we're still upside down. Hmm. Look at the screen's a little bit more zoomed out than it was before. All right, going, going, going. See you, Mr. Masks. I like how like it seems like you're doing stuff, but at the same time, it's mostly the game sort of playing itself. I mean, there are certain jumps you have to make, but like the, when, I, when you take care of your most enemies, it's just sort of by sitting there. Okay, got it. Then we're gonna storm up this way, and boom. Get a lot more extra stuff, so very cool. I'm gonna grab this stuff, and then we are gonna be back when we run into our next boss fight. All right, so we should have a boss fight. Right here, against Zan Partizan. So the third sister taken down for the first time, they're gonna take them all down again. <laughs> but we have max damage, unlike for the other two sisters. So that should be fine. Let's hit this over and over again. Oh, it does so much damage when she's out in the middle of an animation. It's just like, it's crazy. Look at that go. Okay, hold on, go this way, go this way. Oh, okay, just keep hitting, keep hitting, keep hitting. Oh, got her. Look at how easy that was. In the blink of an eye, we take her down. All right, very nice. So we are cleared, we're gonna move on to the next area. All right, we got our double woods boss fights. I think it's uh, both I or not Iggy, Wispy and Yiggy. All right, well, we'll do what we can with this. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we only have level two damage, but that's pretty easy enough against him, I think. Here, oh, we're getting launched. That's okay, that's okay. So I can just charge at him and then Oh, I didn't quite do that correctly. That's okay, we got him still. <laughs> I was gonna do the charge and then up and then down. That would've been pretty nice, but I didn't. That's okay. Keep moving, keep moving. We got our next fight going on. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. Can I get up this ledge or no? <laughs> oh boy. I actually don't have, because I died in one of the little mini game things or like one of the key, like you had to bring the key and you had to jump over a pit. I accidentally jumped a little too high and landed in the pit with the key and that stunk. Anyways, when we're actually against him, it's just faster just to do the up attack, I think. It seems like it. So we're just gonna keep with that. And then of course he's gonna launch us in the air, and then I charge at him, and then I do the up. Like, I guess if there's like an object that gets in your way when you're doing that. Oh, and we can just hit everything away before it hits us because of how fast this attack is, which is amazing. So there we go, we get rid of him. See you, dude, I'm out of here, again. I don't think you're gonna drop anything. Doesn't, oh, okay, that's right, goes to the checkpoint. All right, so, awesome stuff. I'll be back when new stuff is happening. Okay, so it looks like we have our second Francisca battle. That shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we have decently high damage, and I feel like she, like, you know, uh, Dark Moon Knight so far is a higher damaging character than, you know, Adeline Ribbon is. But hey, I mean, I feel like it's, like, obviously Adeline Ribbon, is a less survivable character, I mean a more survivable character because she can spawn in her own health. So that's sort of where the uh, damage change comes from. But with Dark Knight, you can't do that, but he can really whack a wallop. And there we go, there's Francisca gone. <laughs> Barely even noticed she was there, even though she did take out half her health. But we just, because we were just playing risky and quickly, you know? So uh, on to the next boss fight. Okay, so this might be the Crackle boss fight, I can't quite remember. Yes it is, so I missed the extra damage, which actually might be a little bit silly to do going against Krako, but we should be okay. I mean, we got this move, it's really nice. Sometimes, you know what, I probably should have comboed up with an electric character, that's what makes the electric shock come out at the top. And I feel like that just makes it a lot better of a move, so if I do find an electric character, I might wanna team up with them. I know that sometimes he pops out one, I think he did, but we took it out. I feel like I should actually try to get that next time, because that might, that might be really good for uh, Meta Knight's up B specifically. I mean, we can actually do it in the air, which is good. Oh, thank you, dude. The problem is that I can't really hit him too well with that. Like, I mean, I guess I could do the down B in the air, and that's nice because we can hit both of them at once, but like, it doesn't do too much damage, to be honest with you. So, we're actually stuck in a bad position until they get lower which honestly isn't too difficult, and got him. See, and then once, you, once they get to that lower phase, it's not too bad with Dark Meta Knight. Yeah, I like it, we didn't take any damage, I guess, so we did really well, cleared. So it's time for the next level, but I forgot to show you guys, you know, my progress with finding the photos. It looks like we're actually about to complete one right here. Ah, oh, so close, we're missing five pieces, and then a couple pieces go to this one, and a couple pieces even to this one. Very cool. All right, so I think this is where we're gonna refight. Oh, I remember this fight was really tough, especially when we have no health still. Like, I mean, we'll get the extra damage from the one thing. 
I mean, I have the water ability right now, which actually should be pretty good against her specifically. Let's hope. Ow, ooh, but I'm gonna turn up already. So we're trying to do some good damage to her. I lose myself be between myself and of course the other Meta Knight. We already got her halfway down, which was way better than last time. There we go, and then just hit her up, 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 up. Come on, come on, yeah, we got her. So that really wasn't as bad as when we did it with Adeline, but once again, it's way easier with Dark Meta Knight. I mean, with Dark Meta Knight, you can combo up with different, you know, abilities, which really helped against her, and you can't really do that with Adeline. So, you know, there are some bonuses and not so bonuses with each character, what do you know? Oh, this is different, so yeah, we're finally on the uh, final section of the last level. The boss fight is waiting right here, but we can't quite get to it, it's being blocked off. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this door on the top, I don't have any upgrades right now. I just finished a train section and I missed some of them, so this might end up being a little bit difficult for us, but let's hope that's not the case. Let's really hope, because that'd just make everything more of a pain. Uh, but yeah, I'll just try to beat up what we can. That'll be the most helpful thing for me. Uh, probably not losing health and getting rid of things that would have given me health. Probably also a good idea. Oh, ooh, that puzzle piece almost fell to its doom. Glad I saved it. Uh, I'll do what I can about this, but I don't know what that is at the moment. Oh, okay, so that stuff wasn't holding anything. There is a thing this way, got it. Oh, I think I had to be quick. I have no clue. Was that a bad idea? It looks like there's more that way. So now I'm getting, oh, but I can't go that way anymore. Oh, I don't know, I have no clue if that was a good idea or not. <laughs> I have no clue. I mean, we got some extra speed, which is fantastic, but at this point I also need to focus on damage and health. I have no health so far, so that's a little bit concerning, you know? I feel like damage is the most important thing I need to get with the final boss coming up. Ooh, so that's why I need that fire guy. Is it, is it too late to go get him? I suppose not. Where is he? Is he still over here? Oh, there he was, and then I destroyed him. Gosh darn it. Uh, maybe if I just hide in this corner and go back? Yeah, there he is, thank you. And then you will go over Wester. All right, combo with me. Thank you. So we're going back this way. I want to destroy all that ice. I mean, for right now it's just for a cherry, but it might end up leading to more later on. So that's what I'm really worried about. Whoa, ho, 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 what a move. How'd I do that? I guess it's, it's uh, it's down up B. Yup, okay. That's pretty cool. I like it. So how exactly am I getting through this? I mean, that sort of kind of worked, but also didn't really. Maybe if I did that from here. Perfect, okay, awesome stuff. There's a puzzle piece for us. This is interesting design so far. I mean, it's a bit of a maze, as you'd expect. It looks like there was a different way up or something. Who knows? <laughs> this has some replayability in that way. You can sort of see different paths if you decided to play it again. I don't see who would with how long it takes, but geez. It is still pretty cool they thought about it. Okay, let's charge past yet. I apparently took some damage here. I Hard pressed to believe it, but hey, I got rid of you. Get out of here, dude. Be gone. Everybody run under that, please. Don't get hit by it, thank you. And there's nothing around here, so we can keep moving and see what else happens. I don't know if we're getting to the end or not. Ooh, we got some kind of cannon section going on. Oh, hey, look at that. So that's at least one section done. Oh, and that's gonna be one third of it blasted away. So if I take another look around, I think I get it. I gotta go back into that path and try to find something else. Okay. That's very peculiar, I like it. Okay, so we're gonna charge through just like that. And then, I don't think there's like any doors down this way, now. Okay, so if we're looking for more, I just need to charge through all this. I should probably actually go and get this cherry. Thank you. And if I fly as, you know, Dark Meta Knight, I destroy all this stuff. Like, I don't actually have to worry about fighting it or anything. I just need to get down this way because I went up that way last time. So I figure I should just go into whatever door I find first, but also make sure I get puzzle pieces along the way. There we go. So, very, very cool stuff. Don't know what else is in store for us here. Right now, it looks like going down this way is our best bet. Nice. So it says like there's more than one way to go here. So we'll go left and hope that's a good idea. Oh, it's stuck under you, dude. Okay, you're just gonna keep going. Actually, probably want you. I wanna put you over Parasol Waddle D. Cause it looks like there's some kind of electric thing going on here, so if I could just yeah, do that really quickly. And then, whoop. I don't know if that's gonna last forever, so I wanna be sort of quick with this. Got it, and then, got it. Yeah, okay, very nice. So we got two puzzle pieces there. There's a little something extra up this way. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to quite reach it. 
Well, I'll try, I'll definitely try. Go, 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 go. And boom. And what's in here? Extra health, finally! Jeez, I really, really needed that. Okay, so heading down this way, hopefully we find whatever we're looking for, which is everything. So <laughs> let's get back to it. That was another thing like we made good progress on. I like it. Ooh, okay, so whoa, okay, be silly. Be careful, don't be silly. Don't be silly. I don't know what I was trying to say. Okay, so can Burning Leo get over this way? He can. I mean, he doesn't do too much for me. Okay, cool. What do we got going on now? Oh, nice little button. This is interesting. I mean, I think this is supposed to be a bit of a reference to the fact that, I mean, there are some similarities between Star Allies and Amazing Mirror, of course, and that's, you know, you get your friends to help you in some ways. Uh, what is this about? Where, where would this lead? To a different door, I can only imagine? Or no, it just leads back around this way, just in case you, like, messed up or something? All right, well, I found everything I could find for now, I think. So let's get back up this way. And, uh, deal with whatever we have to deal with next, which is probably gonna be... Enemies, yeah, lots of enemies. Hmm, usually they give you enemies like that if you're gonna deal with a boss fight, so we probably have a mini boss, and indeed we do. It's bonkers. Oh, okay, that hurt a little bit. Gotta be honest. Here, charge him, go up, slam down. The, the down slam didn't help out too much. Ooh, but that did some good stuff. That was amazing, yeah. <laughs> All right, get this guy out of here. We don't need him. Okay, so that seems to be everything for this area. I'm pretty sure this will lead to another cannon where we have, you know, two or yeah, two out of the three of the things done, so there's another puzzle piece I can quickly grab, and then we gotta head back up here, and I guess just go a different direction than what I did before. I think if I go through that second door again, maybe there'll be something for me. Really my only choice at the moment, so we'll find out as we go along. Come on, I'm just trying to fly, just trying to fly. All right, things are going pretty well. I just need to charge through like that, Keep moving, Meta Knight, or Dark Meta Knight, you know who you are. And yeah, it's just this door, like we don't have any options beyond this door, but before I think I went down or to the left or something, this time I'm just gonna go the opposite direction. So like, like I went down, I went down, I went right, and this is where I ended up going left, is where the bomb is, yeah, where these two arrows are. So this is the other direction I can go. So we'll try this out and see how things end up happening. Hopefully well. Now let's charge through all that and then slam through like that. Oh, where am I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it can be a bit confusing at times, to say the least. I do feel like this is interesting because it, it just throws me back so much to Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. I would love to play that game again, but it's so difficult. It's a really tough game. From what I remember, it was just a real challenge. And let's charge through here. And, uh, whoa, 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 nice, okay, so. Let me try to get through here. There we go, not bad, not bad. Really big uh, sword dudes, Blade Knight, I think it is. And there's like some extra stuff we, no, 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 that was stuff that we actually already passed in the second attempt. So this here in the third attempt, things are actually still going pretty well. Oh, can you guys just excuse me real quick? Hmm, so that is, okay, so I actually, do not have what I need for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I think I'm gonna put it over Burning Leo. Burning Leo is usually pretty common, so I think this will be fine. And then we can do this, skip the cutscene, boom, get rid of it. Wait! What? How am I supposed to get into the door? <laughs> am I supposed to like charge through? That is weird. Um, I think I have to charge through. I think that's the idea, because how else am I getting into it? No, 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 I need to be icy. There we go. So if I, and then go through the door, yeah! That's actually what you have to do, that's insane. Crazy, crazy stuff. Anyways, uh, so I don't know what we're really exactly up to here. Oh yeah, look at this, Dark Meta Knight. So interesting that we're getting this here in the secret bonus area. Oh, I love this song, I love this song. This is one of the ones, once again, in the, uh, and it's like a remix of it too. That is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's not as many puzzle pieces on this one as there was for Adeline's. But we'll get some extra attack. We get some extra speed there for in a moment. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Speed level three. But Dark Meta Knight, what a long name this dude has. 
And there we go, so I guess, oh, you know what? It's sort of like a little bit of a shortcut. You could have gone the other way and you would have just went under all of that. So I'm glad we went the way we did. And now what's happening now? I gotta go up this way. Ooh, puzzle piece. And through the door again. Maybe I should have gotten one of the paintbrush people. Would have been nice to have uh, extra health in that way. Oh, here's well, here's my other chance if I really wanted to go for it. Now let's go ahead and do, boom. That is really nice. Ow, I still got hit though, which is sort of unnecessary, but it's what I did. The nice thing about this is it has so much range to it as well. Okay, there we go, good job, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one, and we're gonna put this over Waddle Doo, I think. Waddle Doo, and I'm gonna beat this one up. Yeah, okay. Can you make food for us? That'd be nice. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it happen. So, extra food for everybody. So, you're gonna have to build up pain again, but that happens over time, so I'm not too worried. All right. So there's that one done. That means that we're actually good. We can hop down there and get a bonus for everything. So it looks like we're gonna have level four of everything. If, you know, I presume there's just gonna be the boss fight after this, we'll have to wait and see, but boom. Well, that is a boss fight to us. Level four for everything, not quite level five. I think I missed that on the train before um, I started talking again, right, practically. Yep, looks like it. So for now, this is all looking good. I don't think I, I mean, I could change up my team a little bit if I wanted to, uh, do something different. I don't know if I do, but it might be smarter than, let's go ahead and do this one and we'll put this over Chili. I just don't think it's gonna be very good with Chili. All right, we'll, we'll try this. We'll see what ends up happening. Might be good, might be bad. I'm not really sure, but if we fail, I'll be sad. I don't think we'll fail though. So we're going against, uh, you know, Zan part of Zan to start with. And I miss like crazy. Oh geez, come on, there we go. That sort of did some good damage, but I think it's just smarter most of the time just to do this. I mean, maybe not, because I can like sort of do both at once. Oh, that does some really good damage, actually. And then I can try it here. I don't know if, we'll, oh, it will reach. It has really good range comparatively, so you know, we're just gonna keep doing that. Wow, nobody took any damage. Oh, look, I saw my little beam. Very cool, so we gotta deal with the you now, which should be just about the same, but we can take a little bit more damage with you. I mean, usually using that beam takes a little bit more practical effort than I have the ability to do when I'm fighting a boss, but let's just go ahead and do this, and then, oh my gosh, it does so much damage. I mean, it's supposed to already, because he's not very strong, as you can see. <laughs> so there we go, now the real boss fight begins, and I'm just gonna try doing it again. It's a down up B, because it just has amazing range. It usually hits most of them. And it, it's really wide too, so it's like way better than you would see something like for an average um, character's abilities and stuff. Where am I? I'm right here, right? I have no clue anymore. So this is where it gets a problem though, is I can't see anything. I'm just like getting hit unnecessarily. Do that. Come on, keep going. I know it's like a cutscene right now, so I'm not doing as much as I would like to be doing. Here, quickly, go ahead and do that. Ooh, going through the swords this time, huh? Oh gosh, I got flattened. I got flattened. Oh boy. Whoop. I just gotta wait for this whole phase to be over. It's just so hard to tell myself apart from my teammates. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Here, hold on. Mm. Charge right through you. Charge right through you again. Actually, the longest ball, fight, ball fight's going on for a little while now. Come on. Okay, perfect, perfect. Gotcha. That was a little bit difficult, but we made it work. Now we should have Morpho Knight. Uh, I'll include the cutscene this time. Last time people were like, hey, could you include the Morpho Knight cutscene next time, don't skip it. And I was like, okay, I could do that. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. Dark Friday Night's so cool. And does the fake credits, yada yada. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the idea of me cutting it up a little bit, just doing the important things like the boss fights. Like I'm still playing the rest of it, but I just, there's no way I wanna be able to find enough to talk about during that entire hour plus, you know? So. Hopefully this is a little bit more enjoyable when I cut it down for you guys to watch, let me know. Uh, but for now, we are dealing with a certain Knight of Morpho, miss. <laughs> well first he's Galactonite, and then he turns into Morpho Knight, cause why not? Off he goes. Yeah, it's the same cutscene, it just has a slightly different background is the big thing. And then the butterfly touches him. Which, like, the butterfly is weird. Like, apparently there's been a butterfly in different Kirby cutscenes that looks just like it, so, like, is it something magical that we just don't understand? I suppose so. All right, let's beat this dude up. Hopefully things will go well. We're still a little beat up from the previous boss fights. I don't think we get a refill at all, which is always a pain. All right, Morpho Knight. 
Let's go for you, dude. I mean, he should be all fiery. Oh, this is like the fi the final boss fight song for uh, Kirby and Amazing Air, which is pretty cool. I like that little touch. That final boss was like super tough. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was the one I'm thinking of. Okay, he's doing his little cutscene, so. Ooh, that didn't really do us anything. Come on, hit him with that. I don't know if it's gonna be faster just to do this since he's closer, I think it will be. Oh geez, ow, where am I? I'm right there. Ooh, I had to get in good position. Come on, just keep damaging him, keep doing this over and over again. It definitely is more difficult when I don't have those extra levels, but I think we're making things work well enough. Oh, we clashed! Oh, that was cool! Yeah, good job, everybody! You're taken down, Morpho Knight. Three Meta Knights in one battle, it's crazy. All different kinds of Meta Knights, too, which is also ridiculous. But he's been defeated, which means we are done with this. It's amazing, I'm happy to say. It's all done and over with. All right, and that means another character we've finished Star Allies go with, which is awesome. And there we go, Dark Meta Knight from the Shadows. Our color time was 55 minutes and 41 seconds, maybe slightly better than last time, I don't really know. Um, but hey, either way, I'm glad to say that we got ourselves a picture completed. It is the Kirby Planet Robo Robobot, another game I didn't really play yet. Maybe one day, Robobot Memories. Very cool, you finished eight celebration pictures. And then a little bit more for this one, still figuring out what that one is, and then like one there, and then, oh, that's my first piece for that one. We got so much work to do go with that. Very cool. So at this rate, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip this credit sequence that's gonna play, because we've seen it how many times now? Um, I like uh, Adeline being in there now. She's like, hey. Okay, so whenever I can skip this, I gladly will. There it goes. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Dark Meta Knight's a very fun and effective character. We get the same ending image as last time, which is sort of kind of a shame, but hey, I'll take it. I don't know who Adeline is drawing, but hey, maybe I'll find out one day. <laughs> With all that being said, we get to check out Dark Meta Knight and guest star allies go. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you want to see the third character, which is DeRoach, another character I'm very, very unfamiliar with. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Kirby Star Allies. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Dark Zebra. So now you've watched the end of the You Are A Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.